We've already covered converting bitmaps to vectors, and now the next thing that we need to make note of is how to edit that vector that was created. In this instance, this vector is a little bit dirty and contains quite a few artifacts, um, pieces of information that uh, we really don't want to send to the plotter, like here. and some of these nodes need to be edited so that you have a little bit smoother and cleaner um, result when you send it to your plotter. If you'll notice here, these artifacts should be deleted and these paths should be cleaned up a little bit. First thing we'd like to do here is to uh, view this in outline mode. So we're going to change our display mode to outline. And there you can see exactly what will be sent to your plotter. Now we're going to select using the select tool and you'll notice it bounding boxes around the whole vector. Then we're going to go to the object menu I'm sorry the path menu and break this path apart. Now you can see it's now created individual vector paths uh, that we now can select individually. Uh, for example, we can select the inside of this flame. We can also drag a box around some of these artifacts and then go ahead and delete them. Now you can uh, be as extreme as you want when you're editing these paths. Uh, some of the simple things to do of course, first would be to get rid of the artifacts. And then by using the uh, node edit tool, we're going to go ahead and zoom in here a little bit so we get a bit better idea of what we have. Then by using the node edit tool, you can drag, I'm sorry, select. And then you can drag the node edit tool around these points and then delete some of them. You can see that each one of these points uh, creates uh, details in this line drawing. And by deleting them and then using the handles on the path, you can uh, fine tune your lines. The cleaner it is, the better results you'll have on your plotter. If you'll look even closer here, this area here would probably create quite a problem in uh, on your cutter when you were going to cut it out. So what we could do here is we could also select these and by holding down the shift key and clicking these buttons you can deselect and then go ahead and delete those. Now we have a line that need, will need to be manipulated and smoothed out using these handles. And you're going to continue this throughout the drawing, also selecting and deleting these extra artifacts. Once you have your paths all cleaned up, you'll have better results when you output to your plotter. Additionally, uh, there was a question about why this particular image had uh, two lines. Well, it's how the drawing was created. Um, you can select these individual pieces and delete them, and that would give you a cleaner path uh, without the outline on the flames. And you can also delete some of these artifacts in here by dragging a box around them and selecting them. All of those individual pieces uh, are extra and don't need to be in your finished output to your plotter. Um, that's really all there is to it. Um, you can also clean up the insides of these by deleting those duplicate lines. Uh, that may give you closer to what you were hoping for in your output. I hope this uh, brief tutorial helps you in editing your image in Inkscape. Thanks for using SignCut, and have a great day.